Hey everyone, this is Carmen from CarmenMasterTarot.com and today we're going to teach you how to develop a content marketing strategy for your SaaS company, how to actually write really good content, and how to use content to generate inbound leads, organic traffic, and more revenue because there's a big reason that companies even like HubSpot are doing inbound marketing and are investing so much into it is because it's a great long-term investment and who doesn't want his clients and customers organically kind of rolling in? And that's what content marketing is going to help you do. Uh, I use it for all my companies. I've helped tons of clients use content marketing to do exactly that, grow their revenue, their client base, everything. So today I'm going to show you how to essentially develop a content calendar, how to develop a customer's persona, and how to write good content and execute it in a way that's going to get you the results you want. So let's get into it. All right, so the first step in your content marketing strategy is to develop a customer persona or a buyer's persona essentially a personification of your ideal customer and your ideal client and who they are because we want to do this because then we can then kind of form our content right around this person so obviously the first thing to think about your age your income their occupation do they own a business themselves or are they working a nine-to-five and they kind of have a little side hustle on the side that they're doing so think about that and you know market reports Google Analytics different tools like that can help you find those kind of demographics out but I think what's probably even more important is thinking about what questions they have, their pain points, their strengths, their weaknesses. Because, you know, if you're offering some kind of SaaS service, obviously that's filling in some kind of gap. It's helping them with the problem they have. So, for example, if you're a social media agency, you know, your customers might have, uh, you know, questions like, how do I do social media marketing? How do I automate my social media? How do I drive traffic with Instagram? So you want to think about these questions. You can use tools like Answer the Public, Google's Keyword Planner. And you want to form different questions and problems they have because then you form your content around that and you're essentially attracting the perfect person to your business. So take the time, flesh out a bit of a persona. It doesn't have to take too long. You can spend less than a half hour on this or even way quicker. But you just want to have something in place before you start writing. Now the second step is actually making your content calendar. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. I know some people go really, really hard on it. I think keep it simple and essentially to make it easy to understand, easy to execute. So here's a basic example. First row, topic and title, that would be the general premise of whatever you're writing about. Second tab here, keywords, that would be the SEO keywords, like a main keyword and some secondary keywords that you would be using in the article. Publishing date, so, you know, when you're essentially going to be posting it. And then under notes, any kind of ideas you have, what I like to do, even put some like websites in there as resources to kind of base my article off. So as an example, let's say that for you know our one post is going to be how to drive traffic with Instagram. You know, you can head over to Google's Keyword Planner, put that right in. Whether you like the new one they updated or the old one, you can use KeywordTool.io, SEMrush, whatever, whatever tools you want for keyword research. But the point is, is to find some ideas and you know how to increase traffic with Instagram, how to get traffic to your Instagram. Um, you know, you just want to get some ideas here, and then you just put them in this section. So let's say how how to get web traffic with Instagram. So then the publishing date, I'm gonna actually do this. Wrap it real quick, make it a little easier to read. And the publishing date, you know, you can say it's like September 10th of 2015. And then what you could do is actually just go to Google. How to drive traffic with Instagram. And then what we could do is just find, you know, a couple articles that we think would actually actually help us write. Let's get some inspiration from, some ideas from. Take that from search engine journal. Put it in there. And then essentially what you have is a nice little organized spreadsheet. You know what you're writing, you know what keywords you have, you know when you're publishing it, you have some resources to kind of help you actually write it a bit quicker. And that's just a, a very quick demonstration of how you do it but you know maybe if you post three times a week you would have you know every Monday Wednesday Friday what you're posting you maybe start this every day of the month you would flush out your new content calendar that's kind of the general premise so I'd recommend you go do that before we move on to the next step so you made your content calendar developed your buyers persona now it's time to actually write some content and I'm just going to show you an example of a piece of content I wrote on my website that I think is a great example of what you should do. It's by no means perfect or amazing, but just a general idea of what is going to help you get more SaaS clients, grow your agency or your SaaS company. 
And essentially what's gonna keep people coming back, what's gonna grow more organic traffic. So this is just an article I wrote on how to get more clients in general for a few different industries. So right off the bat, a great thing to do is use short sentences. Don't use big words, make it easy to read. What you wanna do is also, in my opinion, make it first person. If you have you know, a few writers, maybe just yourself, speak from first person, make it very personable. I use a nice table of contents plugin here on WordPress that makes it really organized and nice. You want to make sure you have some good headers to break it all down. Use stats and graphs. It makes it more interesting, more visual. You know, if there's a newspaper or something, you gotta you know, add some life to it, make it fun to read. But as well, when you use stats and graphs like these, it allows you to back up your points and whatever you're talking about in the article. But I continue on to use different header one, header two tags. And a big, big thing, you want to make your articles very step-by-step -step, and you want to baby the reader through everything. For example, in this article, I was showing them how to essentially find local businesses. So I gave them the exact kind of keywords to look for, where to actually go on Google search to find them. And then here on 411, exactly where to look, how to find the website and the phone number, etc. So I even gave them a little example email to send. So you want to always give them like little templates. I have a quote from another local uh, agency owner here, a little uh, post from Reddit that I found that applied to what I was doing. And then when showing them how to get web design clients, I kind of showed them uh, this strategy of taking an old website and then creating a subdomain, installing WordPress, and then making a much better one to pitch people with. So another big thing too is just the overall word count. You know, this is a good, I think, 4,500 word or 5,000 word article that I wrote. But that's kind of the general premise. Use images, use graphs, make sure you got tons of examples, step-by-step -step guide for everything. Make sure that you got lots of infographics and visuals. Everything's broken down into headers, bullet points, lists. And make sure, of course, you have your keywords in there. That's really big. Um, keywords should probably be in the title, uh, in the URL, the header tags. Sprinkle throughout the text. Don't, don't stuff them or anything. But that's just a general idea, I think, of how you should be writing your content because Long form content packs value, it has much better information, and that's what the users want, that's what the search engines want, you're gonna get more traffic. Make sure you have some kind of uh, opt in, like on the sidebar here for me. Um, I have a little lead magnet with a free ebook, so people that come here, they end up signing in or signing up, they get kind of thrown through the lead funnel. So that's kind of the general idea. Hope you pulled some value out of this video, I'll be making some more in the future, so stay tuned if you wanna come to my website to actually read some content like this as an example, I'll throw it in the description and I'll see you in the next video.